Of breaking news, the search is on for a teenage escapee in Orange County. The 15-year-old boy escaped from Juvenile Hall early this morning, and a lot of people are worried because he's a murder suspect. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom live in Orange, where news conference just ended moments ago. Cara? Yeah, investigators believe when this suspect was just 13, he repeatedly stabbed his mother and she died. So this morning after he escaped from the facility behind us, they took the very unusual step of releasing his name and his picture. Due to the nature of his charges that he's in custody for, we thought it prudent to let the um, citizens uh, know of, of who is out. And that's why, yes, it is... Uh, very unusual due to the fact that he's a juvenile. As Ike Souser's mother was dying, she reportedly told the responding officer her killer was her son and making the tragedy even harder to grasp. Three weeks earlier, as Souser's mom had been desperately searching for him, she said uh, she just wanted him back, that he was mildly autistic and had run away. He was found and brought back. Let's give you a look now at the facility he escaped from this morning, Orange County's Juvenile Hall. Probation officials say Souser got out of a locked room, then jumped a fence to escape. They believe he fled northbound on City Drive, saying a video captured him leaving and suggests that he may have an injury to his leg. The chief probation officer says they haven't had such an escape here in two decades. He talked about the room checks that are done. Our staff and our probation department, um, they are required to make uh, these room checks. And when the room check was done in the individual's room, he was not in his room. They are prescribed um, within a 15-minute um, um, check, but it doesn't have to be at 15. We do them random to make them more of a surprise as needed. Sheriff officials say they had 60 officers and other officials searching within about 15 minutes. They say there is no evidence that Souser is armed. We want to give you a final look at him. He is described as a white male, six feet tall, weighing about 200 pounds, who was last seen in a white shirt and red pants. This photo was taken this past December within Juvenile Hall. And back here live, Sarah Peter, anyone who does see him is encouraged not to approach him, but to instead call law enforcement immediately.